Why did Adele cross the road to say hello from the other side? <laughs> Absolutely awful. Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. I still get asked constantly, what's the best Ethernet adapter for the Fire Stick? Does it make your internet speeds faster? Does it make your internet better? And should you get one? So in this video, I'm quickly going to show you some Ethernet adapters you can use for your Fire Stick, and then we'll do some speed tests to see how it performs. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I'm going to say this is a very beginner video. But there are still a lot of people that don't know you can get Ethernet adapters for your Fire Stick. So that's the reason I'm making this video. So now let's quickly jump over, show you the adapters, and then we'll get them connected up. Right, so the tool we're going to look at is Amazon's own Ethernet adapter. And we'll look at this one first. As you can see, it's just a little box and then a micro USB for the power on your Fire Stick and simply plug that in. And then on the other side of the box, you've got an Ethernet port and a micro USB for the Fire Stick power cable. Take your Fire Stick power cable and plug that in. And then get your Ethernet cable and simply plug that in there. And that's it. Now, when it comes to cost, the Amazon Ethernet adapter, you're looking at around £13.99. So now if we put that to one side, and now we're going to look at the Ugreen USB hub. And this has got three USB ports and also an Ethernet port on the end. But this is USB, so something you're going to need is an OTG cable. And what this does is the micro USB will plug into your Fire Stick. The power cable for your Fire Stick will plug into the OTG cable. And then it gives you a USB port there. Simply plug that in, and then once you've plugged it in, you will see three lights on the top. Get your Ethernet cable, plug that in the end. So now your Fire Stick will be hardwired, and you've also got three USB ports available as well for external storage or USB remotes. But with this, some people do find they have issues powering it, so I will leave a link to a different video how to fix it in the top corner now. And to get the Ugreen USB hub, you're looking about £20. But then obviously you need the OTG cable as well, and I think that's around £6 for two. So if you're never going to use those USB ports, you might as well go for Amazon's own Fire Stick Ethernet adapter. But let's take a quick look at some speed tests now. Right, so I do apologise about the audio in the previous clip of a dog shit. I recorded it on the camera, but now we're going to do some speed tests. I'm going to use Amazon's built-in Wi-Fi speed checker. And I'm going to go to settings, down and across to network. Then whichever network you're connected to, click on the play pause button. And you're going to see this. Get rid of me one moment. You can see there it says run speed test. And if you don't have this available on your Amazon Fire Stick, then what you can do is go to the Amazon App Store and install such as Analyty. That works great as well. So as you can see, 89 megabits per second download. I'm going to run the speed test again. It also gives you some recommendations. So based on your latest speed test results, your internet speed can support up to 1080p video quality without interruptions. So this time we get 84 download, and I'm going to run it one more time. But yeah, you'd think if you're getting over 80 meg download, 4K streaming would be a breeze as well. And then finally we get... 85 megabits per second download so that's all over wi-fi so now let's take a look at what speeds we get using amazon's own ethernet adapter so this time you can see it's not giving us different networks it's telling us we're connected via ethernet and we're just going to do the same kind of speed test and on the first one as you can see we get 93 megabits per second download speed you're going to see again we get 93 megabits per second download and then run it one more time. And I am skipping this as well, so you haven't got to sit watching it. But then we finally get 92 meg download. So very, very stable. And then finally, let's take a look at the Ugreen USB hub and how that worked. So same again. We're going to run a speed test on that. And the first result we get is 88 megabits per second download. Run it again. We get 84 meg download. And then run it one more time. And then we end up with 87 meg download. So Amazon's own Ethernet adapter does seem a lot more stable, but we're not seeing a massive increase in speeds. But it's not all about speeds. A lot of it is about how stable the connection is as well. If you're using Wi-Fi and it's constantly going up and down and dipping out, you might experience a lot of buffering. 
on Fire Stick 4Ks, I had a lot of issues with Wi-Fi where it'd just disconnect and it'd just be a right mess about connecting it back to Wi-Fi. I'd have to forget the network and then connect back to it. And there is something else I want to mention. Although the speed tests over Wi-Fi were pretty much on par when using an Ethernet adapter, one thing I do want you to look at is when it says recommendations here, and right up in the top left-hand corner you can see connected to Wi-Fi, it says your internet speed can support up to 1080p video quality. But if we just jump over and take a quick look at when we had a wired connection, we were getting 84 meg download, but it was telling us your internet speed can support up to 4K video quality. If we come back here, over Wi-Fi, the download speed is 85, but only showing as supporting 1080p video quality. So that might be something to bear in mind. And once again, I think that's where you've got to consider the stability of the internet connection rather than how fast the speeds are. And then one more thing you might want to consider as well is when you're using the Ugreen USB hub, you've got to use this OTG cable, which is a USB 2.0 port. So I think the speeds are going to be capped to 100 meg download. So if you're somebody that's looking to get your crazy gigabit download speeds, you're not going to get it with that. And with Amazon's own Ethernet adapter, I'm not too sure what speeds that supports. If you've used it and got over 100 meg download, let me know in the comments section down below. But when it comes to streaming, anything more than 100 meg is pretty much overkill. If you've got a stable connection, or even... 50 60 meg download you shouldn't have any issues at all but i just thought that was something that might be worth mentioning so if you're looking for an ethernet adapter for your fire stick and you're not going to use the usb ports i'd say go for amazon's own ethernet adapter those speeds are very stable and it's just going to cost you 12 pound 99 or 13 99 you don't have to buy the otg cable as well me personally, I just use it over Wi-Fi. But for those of you that were wondering how you use Ethernet adapters with your Fire Stick, that's how you do it. Those are the different speed tests. And let me know your thoughts and your speed results in the description down below. I would say this would be more for people with very slow internet speeds, like around 10 meg download, where Wi-Fi is probably pretty dog shit. And there's also something else you can use if you're somebody that's got a fire stick but you're not located near to your router or router, depending where you're from. It's an ongoing argument, but it's a wireless router, isn't it? Tell me. <laughs> you can use things such as power line adapters and TP-Link do these and they are very popular. All they do is plug into the mains near your router and then you plug an Ethernet cable into your router, a router, <laughs> and then you'd plug the other adapter in near your fire stick, plug it into the mains again, and then run an ethernet cable from that plug into your fire stick. That were quite hard to explain. I have done videos on these previously, but I was just saying it as another option. Right, I apologize for the boring video, but I'm gonna go now. Hopefully that's helped at least two people because then it was worth making. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'll leave links down below to the adapters as well if you want to take a look. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. Although they're about the same speeds as using the Ethernet... Uh, struggling on her. Can't say it. <laughs> and then one more thing you might to want... Mind to want? What's that? Mind to want?